everyone, it's me, and I am back with a 20 week update, which is super exciting. My little one is, um, uh, we just got back from downtown. I had a uh, doctor's appointment, I actually forgot, I still, oh, it came off. <laughs> I didn't take it off. It must be in like, I have to go check to make sure it's not in my sweater. I had my blood drawn. They were worried about my thyroid. Uh, I can't even, I can't even explain it because I'm not even exactly sure, but just something in my blood levels showed something was low and that they just wanted to double check it and that, that might have been the reason why I was so sick or, or that it shows so because the time that I took my first blood test to stuff that um, it makes it low because of just pregnancy symptoms in general. I don't even know. I feel fine. I feel great. Um, I'm not concerned about that at all. I, I am curious to know what my iron is at this state in the game. Um, but other than that, I feel great. The reason why I'm super curious about the iron is because as far as diet goes, I, like, I can't bring myself to eat meat. And so I won't. Um, I just, like, I mean, not even just a little bit, like, I just don't want it. And even if it's hidden somewhere and I didn't know about it and someone else made it, like, um, I don't want to be, like, a pest and be like, no, I'm sorry. Especially since I'm not, like, a, a known vegetarian across, like, my friends and stuff. But as far as me and my house and cooking and, and all that, I have just gone nuts with fruit. Like... My first pregnancy, I had way too much juice. I realized that, but at the same time, I was okay with it. I just, I really wanted juice, like, all the time. And so that's what I had. Like, uh, but this time, I haven't had had juice as much. I just really, really, I mean, pineapples and melons. I'm just looking at, like, what I have bought in my, in my corner here. And I'm just, oranges, apples, bananas, like, the works. I've been making a little bit of fruit smoothies here and there, um, but not too many. And yeah, like my diet as far as that, I feel like it's a kind of a drastic change because I wasn't meat eater. I'd have, when I say meat, I wouldn't have like red meat a lot, but I would have chicken, like chicken, chicken, chicken. I'm, I'm married to a ex-hockey player and he would have chicken all the time. And I think that that's just kind of what happened like with our, our diet and our cooking. Like even like chili, I would cook it with chicken instead of beef. But I mean, sometimes I'd have beef. I have no idea. It's just bizarre. Um, and so it's gotten me really intrigued and interested in in that lifestyle as well. Not fruitarian or anything, but just not eating as much as much meat. I have kept fish in my diet, um, so I can try to stay healthy. And I have been taking like vitamin supplements and things like that. As far as health goes, um, I'm totally fine. I haven't done a weigh-in. I haven't gone back to the doctor. I don't go back until March 14th. I do feel a lot bigger, um, significantly actually. I find out what the baby is next week, uh, which is so excited. And so I find out what it is and then I go straight to San Francisco. Uh, to see my sister-in-law and family and all that and that's going to be so much fun so I'll show you my belly in a little bit but it's definitely bigger a lot of people think like I've been covering it and hiding it really well with the tops that I've been wearing this one in particular is new I just got it I feel like it doesn't it doesn't hide it but I have some great tops once from forever 21 it's just that waffled shirt that I wore with them um, like a lion chain it comes in gray as well. It's available now. And that sweater, it does, I got it in like a larger baggier size. And this woman came in yesterday to, I have a house cleaner just for now. And she's like, you're not even showing. Like I would, she's like, are you sure you're pregnant? <laughs> I lift up my shirt and I'm like, yes, I'm sure. She goes, oh, <laughs> it was the funniest reaction ever. But um, yeah, no one has has like no stranger or anything like that said anything or pointed it out or or anything like that which is kind of sad because <laughs> I'm like that part's always fun but uh what else 
I, I have been feeling really great, really motivated, lots of energy. Um, I haven't been like nesting or anything, but I've just been like organizing, like things I want to get rid of, like Goodwill and um, a couple of things, like baby things I've been trying to sell. And then there's this whole thing I need to organize under the stairs. And I've just been like, um, out of our house as far as like decor and decorating, I have done every little nook and cranny except, well there's still lots of stuff I want to do everywhere else, but it, I've made it a home everywhere except for my bedroom. And it's, I've been here for a year and a couple months in this house, and so I felt really like compelled to make it like a bedroom <laughs> this go around. So I've bought a bed. And I have like this little organizing chest um, and I'm looking at dressers and side tables now which is really fun. I really really am like wanting to paint but my husband won't let me do it myself and I haven't gotten a quote. I just feel like it would be such a hassle to have people come in and like, whereas if I did it I could do it like, but then he's like you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. So he's probably right. Also, he's concerned like he doesn't want me smelling. He's so funny. <laughs> he doesn't want me smelling any paint. I'm like, okay. Um, I don't know. It's it's not, there's not a whole lot to say as far as like when I first told you because last time I had so much to say because it was such a long span. But over the two weeks, I've just overall been trying to stay motivated and um, not get too lazy. I Oh, I've been drinking tons of water. I love it with lemon juice in the mornings. I drink it hot and then throughout the day I'll have it with ice. I also learned how to make sweet tea. And you're like, it's not hard to make sweet tea. But I grew up on it and I always had my mom make it because I'm from the south. And I, like, I just refused for some reason for so long to make it because I would only want hers. Um, because everyone makes it different I swear and hers is just the best like I just love it so much and for some reason I just felt like I had to have sweet tea and so I went and got like mason jars <laughs> just so I could drink out of it and make made my own sweet tea and like I went online and looked at a bunch of different ways that people do it and I've kind of got it down to a science on how I like to have it and now I'm now I have like a gallon in my fridge like at all times um which is probably worse than having juice <laughs> I just I have been indulging in the sweet tea and I don't care who knows it <laughs> um it's just one of those pieces of my hair like just of me and my childhood and growing up that it's, it's been nice to have it it's been like a blast from the past if you will and <laughs> I don't know I'm a dork um, and at this point I'm just rambling I will show you guys my 20 week belly and so this is the top that I have on this is I just um, purchased this I have it in a haul video. I got it at H&M and I just love the blush color in it and then these are H&M um, skinny jeans like they're the solo kinds or whatever. I won't tuck the top in like the shirt lays like right on the belly so that's like me not sticking it out but if I stick it out like gosh it's so big. And then I always wear undershirts because I'm just, I just wear undershirts. So I have no new stretch marks, but I have lots of like old stretch marks. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like in the front. Like my belly button is sticking out a lot. See the difference? And if you just like tuck it in so that it, does, it just doesn't lay like... So that is everything that I have for you and my 20 week update. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!